the Punch newspaper is last but not the least. Anger as state warehouse rise delay palliatives sharing. Uh, palliative sharing. Anger as state warehouse rise delay palliatives sharing. Uh, Bruno distributes rise to 400,000 households. Workers lament hunger, demand relief. Uh, that's uh, the punch news. Uh, the punch newspaper there. You know the the word anger. When I said it, actually that that's that's of um, the the funny comedian. You know Stephen. He say anger. anger. <laughs> <laughs> but indeed, um, there is anger uh, in the land by some persons. So we'll get to that. Right. But let's begin with uh, this matter of um, security. And um, if you look at uh, the front page of the blueprints, the story talks about. Uh, Badaru to service chiefs on insecurity. Uh, give me timeline, our course command channel to get results. And that's that the Minister of Defense is speaking. Abu Bakr Badaru is um, putting security chiefs under pressure as mm. it is because, uh, you know, coming out of the service chiefs, they are saying their job is on the line because they have a year yeah. to deal with any form of insecurity in the country. Recall that we've been talking about this matter of insecurity for a long right. time, that right. if that is addressed, a majority of the issues when it comes to the economy, whichever aspect or sector mm. of uh, the society would have uh, would move and grow in the dimension that um, everyone wants it to. And uh, that is what the minister has come in now and he's speaking, he was engaging with the service chiefs and he mm. told them, give me timelines. Give me, tell me your action points, what yeah. you intend to do. And I'm giving you one year to addressing these matters Correct. of insecurity. This has lingered for too long. Nigerians just want to sleep with their eyes closed. Absolutely. Look at the number of killings, if, especially in Plateau State, for instance, uh, the number of killings. When you look at Mangu, for instance, that have been in the news for some time now, how Women even came out to protest the number of killings, invasion into mm. their communities. And, you know, to the extent they were saying they do not even want security personnel within their environment. These are some of the issues. People are, some persons are beginning to lose hope in the ability and capability of uh, security personnel to actually secure them as it is. You know, we can't say country is developed without having uh, a peaceful society, peaceful community where everyone, just like you said, can go to bed with their two eyes closed and then they sleep, they sleep you know, very, very soundly. So it's, it's very good that we're getting this much in order, but it's not enough when they say that, okay, I'm giving you a year to resolve all insecurity issues, you know, bedeviling Nigeria. It, because it has caused a lot of crises in Nigeria in terms of humanitarian crises, uh, caused a lot of problem for, you know, enough production of food, uh, uh, you know, produce from, from farm, farmlands because yeah. they, farmers cannot farmers, go to their farms. They've not been able to go to their farms and it affects, it's just a spillover effect, you know, vis-a-vis -vis that of the fuel subsidy removal. So everything has really skyrocketed. And if there is no food, if there is no uh, peaceful co I mean, coexistence, uh, then there is a lot of problem in the land. So whatever the government is doing, without ensuring that security is put in place, then there is, there is going to be much more effect on the economic impact. Because if, if they are saying that they want, to, um, uh, they want Nigerians to benefit from the dividend of democracy, uh, if, if we have insecurity issues you know, facing us, there is no way they can say, yes, we have been able to deliver on our mandate. So banditry... Uh, kidnapping, uh, farmer header, header crisis, um, you know, name it. It's, it's, it's really, really causing problem for, for this country. And mm -hmm. we can't wait. One year is just too much. But then, I mean, too, too long. Too... It's too long. I... That's what I'm trying to say, that one year is too long. Uh, you know, the boots are supposed to get on the ground and, you know, hit the ground running. Well, do you know what? Do we know what it takes to achieve that? Do we have the boots on the ground? No, when I say that, because the just number like... of of uh, security personnel that, for instance, in Niger State, mm -hmm. we lost a number of them yeah. to some attacks. Now, do we know the number of personnel we have on the ground? Can they deliver on that? Yes, we know that uh, the uh, police force is coming with a special squad mm -hmm. to addressing any matters of insecurity as quickly as possible. Uh, but then saying one year 
I don't know how realistic that is. Perhaps this is, this is a KPI issue mm. now as it stands. Yeah. Deliver. So what can you achieve in that one year? For me, that is how I want to see it. Because we've had issues of financing, having the number of boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. We've had matters of fifth columnists, you know, yeah. hampering, yeah. you know, the progresses and the processes that government have put in place to addressing these issues. How do we deal with all of these things to get the result we want at the end of the day? And remember that uh, the security issues vary across regions. Yeah, it does. What is it does. happening in the northeast yeah. is different from what is happening in the northwest and what is happening in south, south, southeast and southwest. So how are we looking at addressing them? If we can break that down, then perhaps we can know how to address it and get some tangible results in one year. But you know, but that we can stamp out insecurity mm -hmm. in one year. I am not sure. Yeah, when I say one year, of course we know that um, that's that's because it's all about us too. If we say we want to have a peaceful society, a very a well secured society, we the, the policing of this country starts from us, from us mm. because we don't expect the, the soldiers or the police to do all of this for us. So if you see something, you say something, you raise the alarm, and then- That's where the issue of trust comes in. Yeah, 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 really. Mm. Um, we see that Lagos is very, Lagos has been you know, peaceful to a very, very large extent, you know, reasonable extent. How the government has been able to you know, do it, mm. other states, should learn from it. Mm. We, we, we've talked about the, the community policing. Yes. Uh, we okay. see Police. what gave birth to Amatekun mm. and how much they've achieved. We've, we've talked about the MNJTF, yeah. uh, what they've done so far. We've talked about you know, the vigilantes and all of that. So I think it's, it's a holistic thing and the government really needs to approach these you know, with broader view. And it's all about political will as well. You know what's been able the last administration, the Fama header, header crisis, where people were saying they, maybe the president didn't want to do as much so that it doesn't, you know. But then it does not really matter the, the ethnic background that you have. It's all about in all, in every ethnic group, there is always the bad guys. There, there will always be people who don't mean well for their fellow humans. So I feel it's important. Whoever ox is God, uh, the, the president should not, should, I mean, the service chiefs, the, the president, Whoever is taking this this, um, this this stance should not look 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 in their eyes. You're not speaking like you're sounding like Nelson Wiki now. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday you were criticizing him. Now you are sounding. No no like no him. no. Nelson Wiki is my is, is my man. You know, any day, any time. You know, sometimes you know when when someone does something right, you give kudos, and when you feel that no, it's it's not enough. You know, you you give the person a knock. But I, we Absolutely. we are looking forward in a broader level that Nigeria becomes a better and a safe society because at the end of the day, it will um, we'll see the impact on, on development, we'll see the impact on the economy, we'll see the, imp we'll see the impact on you know, freedom of movement and, and association. Absolutely. And uh, the matter of intelligence gathering, uh, the use of technology. Well, I believe that the president uh, in his campaign, you know, had all of that in his eight points agenda right. of renewed hope. Right. And so that might be the blueprint mm -hmm. with which the service chiefs, as well as the minister of defense, would run with yeah. as, as it is now. And let's quickly touch on this matter of palliative, mm -hmm. um, talking about anger and, uh, so in some states. as the, the uh, anger. On the land. <laughs> I'll be anger in the land. I don't want to laugh because this is not a laughing matter. It's not a laughing matter. Yeah, really. Because, you know, the government put together palliatives, mm. gave each state, 36 states of the Federation, as well as the Federal Capital Territory, 5 billion naira, and also, you know, released about 100,000 bags of rice to each of these states, mm -hmm. 40,000 bags of grains and also give 52% um, of, of that money, so talking about the 5 billion, mm. was uh, grants, and then 48% was, was loans, and all of it just to ensure the cushion the effect of the removal of youth subsidy. And now this matter of some persons storing the same bag of rice that you are supposed to give to the most vulnerable reminds us of what happened during the COVID era. 
Now, these are the concerns that some Nigerians raised when the government, the federal government talked about giving out palliatives. The sincerity in distributing it and distributing it as at when due. Mm. Nigerians are pressured right now. Why are you keeping them in your storage or warehouse, whatever it is? Is that where they're supposed to be? That's why when we talk about, um, when we analyze issues that, that, that are you know, happening in this country, we often talk about the president, the presidents. We talk about the executive all the time. We don't really look at, okay, what is the role the, the state governments are playing? What is the role our local governments are also playing? Right. Because everything is all about the president. So I think the state governments, they are the closest to the people. They were involved. Not the closest, right? But they are close to the people as much as the local government chairman are also closest to the people. Absolutely. So if they are warehousing, you know, these palliatives, so to speak, what would they say? Would they say that they are, they are still uh, gathering data? To, to see who they can, they can, uh, they can distribute this to. We, we believe that's one of the problems we face in this country. We should always have you know, uh, reasonable data so that we'll be able to know how do we reach the poorest of the poor? How do we get to you know, people that are you know, uh, the, the indigenous people in, 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 on, on their, the in their country, was, I mean their states? They, this matter was supposed to be, there's supposed to be a social register mm -hmm. of persons who- Yeah, that's the word, be, social register of persons who are supposed to be the poorest of the poor, the most vulnerable as mm -hmm. it is, that should benefit from this palliative. What happened to that register is the question. Is if you are saying, okay, maybe because you do not have the data, that register is supposed to guide you as to who gets what. At, at the end of the day, we mm -hmm. have seen other states, you know, distributing the palliatives. Why are these ones still keeping them? You know, a, because there are the question as to distribute this thing timely. Nigerians are waiting for it. The federal government has given it to the state governors. What is happening? Hand it over to those who you feel have that character and will do this transparently mm. so that people can trust the government and restore faith right. in they, the government. They, they, might the also, of the they might also so be... So I hope now that uh, people are raising concerns with regards to some of these palliatives in warehouses that those who have stored them right. will open the warehouse and <laughs> distribute, and distribute. They, 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 they might be handicapped, right. you know, by what we saw in um, uh, somewhere in Ilori where they, they said um, just about three bags of rice, you know, was the one that was shared for a particular community. And they were like, how do we want to do it? So in this vicinity, we only, get, we only got... Uh, something less than uh, then, three, three buckets of rice. Tell us so what how do we got. share it? Tell us what you <laughs> How do we share then it? Then they'll begin to ask questions. Anyway, we'll have to leave it the conversation. Well.